Dr. Jen, talking about a new study when it comes to women, pregnancy, and their metabolism. Yeah, and the number of calories that is actually required to grow another human. So this was <laughs> uh, what we call a meta-analysis done in Australia. They looked at a lot of other studies on caloric intake during pregnancy. And the kind of headline, which I chuckled when I heard, is, Oh, pregnancy is actually more metabolically demanding than thought. Uh, duh. Mm -hmm. No, not than thought <laughs> not by me. Anybody, anybody who's had a baby knows. Uh, correct. <laughs> and any midwife, any obstetrician knows it's quite metabolically demanding, and it always has been. But what I think is interesting about this headline is it really brings into the, the forefront of our consciousness and awareness just how many added calories are truly necessary for a singleton pregnancy. That's one baby. It is not as much as we think, unfortunately. In the first trimester, I would tell my patients, you actually don't need to increase your caloric intake. The, the fetus is not big and it's not requiring a lot more. Second trimester, it's an added maybe 300 calories. That's like a yogurt, you guys. For, third trimester, it goes up slightly. You actually need the most calories postpartum if you're breastfeeding. So again, we know obesity is a problem in pregnancy. Overweight is a problem. You should be gaining on average 25 to 30 pounds if you start your pregnancy at ideal weight, and this study really emphasizes that. So what about this myth, I'm eating for two? Yeah, that's sabotage. <laughs> Do not listen to that because that's not the person who's going to have to lose the weight afterwards. So re remember that. It's only 300 to 400 calories on average. You know, And so anyone who says you're eating for two, say, here, you go ahead. Yeah. You have it. It's not a free-for-all, <laughs> unfortunately. They can, they can lose the weight afterwards, <laughs> so, not you. All right, Doc, thank you.